This video is being sponsored by Ratchet Clothing. Take a look at their new Stranger Things collection. I'll put a link for their website down below in the description for this video. Today I'm going to discuss a rarely spoken about Gotti brother who is very different than his five other brothers. In an overall analysis, he is what I would call the good Gotti, and his name is Billy. Billy Gotti is the second youngest son. He was born in the Bronx, but raised in East New York after his parents migrated to Brooklyn. And during this time, East New York, Brooklyn was predominantly Italian. Both my own parents' families lived there as well. As a matter of fact, Billy served as an altar boy in the same East New York church that my great-grandmother attended. And whenever he would see her walking with grocery or bags, he always offered a helping hand. In turn, my grandfather always spoke highly of Billy because he was always helping his mother. The Gotti sons all came of age while they were growing up in East New York, and all of them gravitated towards the street with the exception of Billy. He made the decision to go on a straight and narrow. By the age of 12, he began working in a deli, which instilled in him the passion for food and cooking. He even tried his hand at a small business, which was a deli in Brooklyn. He finished school and would become one of the only Gotti brothers to attend college. After college, he began working at the New York Stock Exchange. By 1972, Billy decided not only to leave Brooklyn, but New York altogether. And he headed to Los Angeles, California. After his arrival, he took a job at the iconic Jewish deli Greenblatt's, which was in West Hollywood. Greenblatt's deli was a favorite to many Hollywood stars, including Marilyn Monroe, Marlon Brando, Haley Berry, among others. At the same time, back in Brooklyn, Billy's brother John had just been released from prison from a 1968 hijacking conviction. He wasn't an inducted member to the Gambino family yet, but was an associate to the Fatico crew. By 1976, Gene Gotti, on the other hand, became an inducted member into the Gambino family. And this took place after the books were reopened after being closed from 1957 on. John Gotti's induction didn't take place until after the following year, after his release from doing time for the McBratney hit. Pete Gotti would follow his brother John into the family a decade later in 1988. Richie Gotti, I believe, was either inducted in 89 or the early 90s. And Billy's younger brother, Vinny, wasn't inducted until 2002. So Billy and his five brothers took very different paths in life. Back in California, Greenblatt's not only sold deli food, but they had a large collection of vintage wines. The different types of wines piqued Billy's interest, so he began to study them. And he would in time become a wine connoisseur. He even offered classes and held wine tasting events. With his extensive deli experience, his love for cooking and food, he opened up Victor Square Restaurant on Bronson Avenue in Hollywood, California. The restaurant naturally specialized in deli food, but served traditional Italian and Jewish dishes as well. Supposedly, Billy's matzo ball soup was the best, according to the restaurant patrons. He even knew how to speak Yiddish, and as one of his customers said, for someone who's not Jewish, he knows more Yiddish than I do. Unfortunately, Billy had to close the restaurant doors in 2015. The rents had skyrocketed, and he could no longer afford his new 30-year lease. His customers were so disappointed because they not only loved his food, they loved Billy as well. Sweet, loving, and kind were the attributes that he was known for. In fact, some of the customers even pledged to come there three times a week if he kept the restaurant open. But without any choice, Victor's Square was closed down. When you think about it, his brothers not only could have bought the restaurant, but probably half the block as well. Billy Gotti, along with his son, Billy Jr., would go on to open up an organization for the homeless. It was called Neighborhood Lifeline. They provided mobile showers and food trucks to feed all the homeless people. This was Billy and Billy Jr.'s way of giving back to the community. Billy Jr. was struck by tragedy in 2017 when he was attacked by three men while walking in East Los Angeles. He even had to spend time in the hospital as a result of his injuries. If you think about the neighborhood Billy grew up in, and the family he was raised in, Billy could have easily became the sixth Gotti brother to become a Gambino member. But he chose to make an honest living. He didn't have any criminal traits. His was kindness and compassion. I know this video is short, but there's not much more to add about Billy Gotti, except that he was and is a good man. And Billy, if you're watching, I want to thank you personally for being so kind and carrying my great grandmother's bags for her. You're a true gentleman. I'll end this video with Billy's own words about his life. There is no family code that you have to behave like so-and-so, 
Each of us chose our own paths, and I chose what I thought was more culturally inviting for me. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, you could do that as well. By subscribing, you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. If you think this video might be of interest to friends or family, please share it. Thank you. Till the next time. You can subscribe to the Sit Down News blog at sitdownnews.com, and I appreciate all of you who have subscribed. Thank you. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, you could do so down below. If you would like to subscribe to my other channel, Unlimited Substance Podcast, I'll add a link in the description to this video.